What is up, YouTube? How's it going, y'all? Sparky Marky Mark 23 here. I'm back. I do a special video and a little error like I did on the other video from last year to tell you about the Never Hike Alone films and to tell you a little more behind the scenes, of course, which is a feature that's on the Blu ray that I showed you, which would be this video. I mean, this Blu ray. And I already told you what was on it. And of course, the behind the scenes, of course, is 30 minutes long, which has interviews from Andrew Lightly, K Casely Burke, special effects artists, producers, associate producers, actors, and, um, and the very special alumni from one of the franchises of the Friday 13. And like I mentioned in the previous video, that originally we were supposed to be getting a Friday 13 film, but we never did because of the, the scrutiny, which was The Rings. And we never got that movie because due to the fact that the, what is it, Plat Platinum Dunes, if I'm not mistaken, they messed it up. And, and of course, the scripts or the script that they received, holy shit, dude. Even when I heard the words R.I.P. Friday the 13, I was like, what? What happened? And it was revealed that the script had characters from part two or the previous ones and telling the origin story of Jason Voorhees and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, and, um, origin story and you have Mrs. Voorhees and Elias Voorhees, Elias is Jason's father and the next thing you know you had the characters from part two killed off but they come back all of a sudden like what and it wasn't that great it wasn't how you call it well responded it, it they sh what they should have done was take him out of the usa let him do some damage in a foreign land that would be much great but anyways in 2017 of course we heard there is a uh, not a gofundme page let alone a kickstarter for never hike and never hike alone and i was like hmm, what is this movie which I heard it from a fellow YouTuber, Pizow, P-I-Z-O-W-E-L-L, -L, talks about um, the fundings for that, and you get perks, like whether it be, a, uh, what is it, like posters and pins, of course, button pins or something, and also a physical copy of the movie, and it comes with good perks uh, selections. Oh, wow, great. But I wasn't, I mean, I was going to wait it out, but then I only heard it was made from 1,750 of those. Oh, man. That, but the one you just saw right here, this is not the one, of course. If it would have been numbered, but it's not numbered. The, the, the other one, of course, came in a different artwork, and it had, and it was on a Blu-ray, uh, a red Blu-ray case, and it was on a DVD Blu-ray combo pack. And so, yeah, that's what you're getting. And then all of a sudden, we are all of a sudden the, they were sold out. And I did see it online on YouTube over the years. And um, all in all, it was great. Holy cow, magnificent! Really, it is magnificent. And so, the idea was, I mean, how do you put it? It was a great one. And you had interviews from Vincent De Santi, the director. And Kyle Klein, he plays the the hitchhiker in that movie, of course, and very good. And also, beginning of that is like growing up. Beginning, he talks about growing up in the '80s, watching horror movies, running down video rental stores, going to the horror section. Look at these magnificent, looking at these magnificent artworks on these VHS covers. And the one thing that stood out from him is the Friday Thirteen franchise. And yeah, and he screw up watching every one of them, and it was magnificent. And then all of a sudden he had the idea, and then that idea for Never Like Alone came up in 2013 uh, um, when he was driving with his wife at the time, with his wife, and looked at the places, and they found this cabin in upstate New York or some the place. Um, to those who have the Blu-ray, check that documentary, or it's on YouTube. I'm telling you, it's a great feature. And telling him, and he looked at the locations, and it looks like they have their idea, and they shot a scene, a phony trailer or something, with his pal Kyle Klein, but they uh, it was scrapped, so they decided to do it differently and then make it into a fan film. And then they started go raising the money, and then... They had, it was difficult to shoot there because there were 
it would they had to shoot over the weekends, of course. And then um, maybe they shot it extra long, I believe. And then they talk about other things from uh, doing the casting. And then also sometimes uh, other people were involved, like say uh, one of the other people were doubling Vincent De Santi. Some scenes, which was playing Jason, one of them was Vincent De Santi. The other one was by stunt coordinator, by stunt double, and cinematographer Barry Forrest. Of course, he uh, played Jason in some of the scenes, and Vincent did the walking abilities. Or two guys did play Jason, but they did great when they're in character. And then, of course, you have um, the Kyle Klein character. There was another one, a stunt double by Donnie Nichols. Playing, uh, doubling the the Kyle role and then next thing you know there is a lot of conditions including there were some parts that were snowing and some people didn't like staying at the cabin because again there may have been bats and other things it again been abandoned for so many years and of course seeing a hero from the fir from part six which is a fan favorite among other people who may be familiar with Friday 13 Part 6, Jason Lives, and where you have the hero from Part 6, played by Tom Matthews, and he comes back as Tommy Jarvis. If those fan, if any fans have seen the franchises, you see Tommy Jarvis as a little boy in Part 4, the final chapter, where he uh, it meets Jason for the first time, and then he fights back and eliminates him, and, eliminate, uh, and Tommy eliminates Jason, and then... Part five, of course, it's some, it's some people's favorites, but it's more of a whodunit kind of movie. But that but that Tommy Jarvis was played by John Shepard, and um, what else? It, it does resonate with fans. It's more of a whodunit. That's it. And then you have part six, Jason Lives, where you have Tommy again, but this time he's played by a different actor. Of course, they Frank Mancuso Jr. wanted John Shepard to come back, but he didn't want to do it because being born Christian again, he didn't want to come back in a horror movie again. And they cast Tom Matthews to play Tommy Jarvis. In the first two, you see Tommy with glasses on, different hairdo. In part six, he's changed. Doesn't wear glasses anymore. Wow, wow, that's good. And, um... And also, he plays a paramedic. And when they brought in Tom Matthews, it was magnificent to see a Friday 13 alumni from the franchise. Holy shit. And it was great. And it's great. Seriously. And they talk about makeup effects and other things. There was some little injuries, little injuries going on on the set. But it was fun, great. And also, again, it was a short movie, 55, 54 minutes. And as of a few months back, it got over a million. So you can see it on YouTube, or if this comes back on Indiegogo again to fund part of part of new um, Never Hack Alone franchise, follow the link in the description box. But I'm not going to leave any links right now because there's no word on yet, of course, when it'll start continuing soon. But when it does, you'll be the first to know. And... All in all, wall to wall fun documentary, 30 minutes and 25 seconds documentary about the movie and how easy it was or how difficult it was to shoot on location and the exteriors as well. So, wow, all in all, wall to wall fun, horror film to watch. And also, even when, again, they had to do test footages with masks, looking at all the previous actors and, and stunt people playing Jason. And, and of course, as of September 1st, coming up in, on Friday, no, actually Saturday, the first day of September, we're going to be getting a trailer for Never Hike in the Snow, which we're going to be seeing. We're getting a Friday the 13th film in the snow holy cow thanks to writer director tom mclaughlin who did part six he gave they gave him the idea to do they gave he gave vincent de santi to be in the movie i mean uh 
able to do the movie and put it in the snow. We're going to see a Friday the 13th film in the snow. Holy shit. And then, and also Vincent Granoff, uh, Gustafrio, if I said his name right, that's him. Vincent Gustafrio, he plays Deputy Rick Coolin in part six. He's coming back to play the role of Sheriff Rick Cologne. He was Deputy Rick Cologne in, in part six. Last time we see him, he's he's a bit locked up at the moment in jail, and then they break out in, in part six and then save the day while he was still in the cell. <laughs> but all in all, fan favorites love part six. I like part six. Mine is the police brutality scenes. Really, very harsh though. But we're getting Never Hike Alone in the snow. I mean, a Friday 13th film in the snow. So, yeah, it's a must-have among any fans of horror and Friday the 13th. So, yeah, to those who were following me, got their copies on time, radio for you. To those who don't, you're going to have to wait again, dudes and dudettes. You're going to have to wait until another fund me raising happens. So, anyway, this is a bit fun um, reviewing and fixing some problems that I did on that video but all in all it was great to review this movie and talk about this um, bye Austin all in all great film I mean great fan film this is not a film film it's a fan film so yeah and unfortunately as of yesterday um, the fr the campaign raising for Friday 13 Vengeance for physical media is closed so to those who got it radio those who don't you're gonna have to wait again because now word on social media is we're getting a sequel for friday 13 vengeance friday 13 vengeance 2 bloodline so you're gonna have to wait for that folks so anyway this is sparky marky mark enjoy august take care god bless you see you on the next vid